Hello again, Cliff from Down Under. I just wanted to do an update on the uh, enclosure size. I know I've noticed some um, Tormac owners have got small workshops, and I imagine those considering buying a Tormac, many of those will have small workshops. And often you have a situation where you'd like to have an 1100, um, but you really only have room for a 440. Uh, so you compromise and squeeze in a 770. Um, it, it is possible to have a very small enclosure for uh, an 1100. This enclosure is 55 inches wide, uh, 1.4 meters, and just over a meter deep, about 40 inches deep. Now, um, I've got other videos um, on this subject, but this is a bit of an update. I've made some changes to this one that are probably worth noting. Um, this type of enclosure, it's got good access, clear right through here. There's no rail on the top um, restricting access. And you can open the uh, head guard very easily. But the problem I found since I built it about a year ago is that there's, you're sort of pinched on the right-hand side if you're right-handed and, and if you're left-handed on this side. You can open the, the doors right up, but then you have a problem that the monitor's facing the wrong way. Um, and so I was sort of working around it all the time with the monitor here, which is where you need it. But then you're kind of just a little bit tight. So the latest changes I've made an articulated arm, which is basically just the, a Tormac monitor arm, although it's a home-built one, but it's probably very similar. And that allows me to reposition it. I can have the monitor there when I'm setting up the work. And I've got really good access, no restriction, plugging in your probe, getting at things, and have it set here. This is just really convenient now. And then when I want to run the machine, it's going to be coolant spraying everywhere. I can put it there. All buttoned up the way I go and this is just so much better so it's just a matter of shifting the monitor from being bolted onto that door that swinging door to being now on an articulated arm and then when it's not in use you can just sit there some of you will know I've been developing a crash proof touch probe Many thanks to those who have contacted me with encouragement, most appreciated. It's um, encouraged me to go on and develop an even more refined Mark III version um, that's got quite a few features that make it an even better probe. I should be getting on now with uh, testing it, getting close to the next stage. now has easy probe centralization adjustment, uh, a, a rapid dial-in system. And an internal lubrication system that should make it more accurate and last a lifetime. Uh, it's also user serviceable should that ever be required. I love these auto probing routines in Pathpilot and I assume there's something similar in Mac 3. Thank <laughs> you.